How should I behave in court in Australia? Going to court can be daunting. Having an idea of what to expect will ensure that you are prepared and know how to behave appropriately. Courts are formal places, and certain rules of etiquette apply to anyone who enters, as is the case in any other formal setting, such as workplaces and educational facilities. You are expected to be respectful, and you must behave appropriately at all times. You may be asked by the magistrate or judge to leave the court if you dress or behave inappropriately. If your behaviour disrupts proceedings, you could also be fined or sent to jail. When going to court, make sure you are punctual and arrive before the scheduled time. You can find the correct courtroom by reading the notice boards and television screens at the courthouse or by asking someone at the registry counter. They are usually located in the court's foyer. If your matter is being heard in a magistrate's or local court, wait outside the courtroom until you are called. In the district or county court, the bailiff will be able to tell you when your case will be heard. If you are going to the Supreme Court, you should wait inside the courtroom. Check with the bailiff to find out when your case is due to start. If you are being held in custody, corrections officers or police will make sure you are brought to the correct court at the appropriate time. They will show you where to sit. As you enter the courtroom, stand in the doorway and bow your head to the coat of arms behind the judge or magistrate as a sign of respect before finding your seat. Courts are busy places, so even once you have entered the courtroom, you may have to wait for a time until your matter is called. In this case, you should wait in the public seating area in the back until the court is ready to hear your case. When the court is ready for you, go to the centre table in the front of the courtroom. If you are represented, your lawyer will show you where to sit. You may represent yourself at court, but it is always advisable to seek legal advice first. Where you do not have a lawyer, if you are bringing the matter to court, you should sit on the right side of the table as you face the judge or magistrate. If you are defending the matter, you should sit on the left side of the table. The general rules of court etiquette apply throughout a court proceeding to everyone in the courtroom. Make sure you turn your mobile phone off, don't just switch it to silent. Turn off any alarms on your watch or any pages you have. Don't talk unless called upon to speak by the judge or magistrate. Do not eat, drink or chew gum. Do not smoke. Do not record or publish any of the proceedings. This includes postings to social media. The magistrate or judge is the boss of the courtroom. They sit at the front facing everyone else. Every person in the courtroom must behave respectfully towards the magistrate or judge by calling the magistrate or judge your honour bowing their head to the magistrate or judge when entering or exiting the courtroom, standing and keeping quiet whenever the magistrate or judge enters or exits the courtroom, standing whenever the magistrate or judge dresses them, listening to and following any instructions given by the judge or magistrate. To show your respect in the courtroom, you will need to dress in a tidy, modest and smart manner. Conservative colours are best. Dress attire that may be suitable includes a suit, though this is not essential, a collared button-up shirt, make sure it is buttoned to an appropriate level, pants or a skirt at or below knee level, clean closed-in shoes. If you are representing yourself, it is recommended that you wear a jacket. Dress attire that is not suitable includes singlets, strapless or see-through tops, clothing with obscene, offensive or disrespectful slogans or graphics, jeans, thongs, short shorts, mini skirts, sunglasses, hats or caps. If you are dressed unsuitably, the judge or magistrate may reprimand you or ask you to leave. There is no specific legislation which prevents you from wearing forms of religious dress, such as turbans, skull caps and burqas in the courtroom. However, some states now have legislation requiring you to remove head coverings if asked by police for identification purposes. Refusal to do so can result in a fine or imprisonment. Generally, the police will ensure that only female officers are present and that it is only for a short period of time. Court etiquette in Queensland requires that, when leaving the courtroom, you again bow your head to the coat of arms behind the judge or magistrate as a sign of respect. If you are unclear about court etiquette in Australia, court staff will be able to assist. 
However, keep in mind that they are generally very busy, so it might be best to seek your information from organisations such as the Court Network. If you have a legal question, you should seek advice from a lawyer as soon as you can. Alternatively, the courts in each state and territory have a dedicated website which contains useful information about the magistrates or local court, the district or county court, and the Supreme Court, including details regarding court etiquette. You can also familiarize yourself with court etiquette and procedures by going to court and observing a proceeding before the commencement of your own. When doing so, sit in the public seating area at the back. You can find information about which matters are to be heard that day on the Daily Law List page of the court's websites. Not all cases are open to the public. You should check with the registry staff or the bailiff to make sure you can observe the proceedings. What to do next? If you or someone you know has to go to court, it is important to obtain legal advice quickly. Go to court lawyers operate a legal hotline, or 1300 636 846, where you can talk directly to a lawyer 7 a.m. till midnight seven days a week. Your call will be treated with the strictest confidentiality and without judgment. The lawyer will assess your matter and recommend a course of action. Should you need a court lawyer, even if it is at very short notice, the legal hotline staff will be able to arrange legal representation for you. You can also request a callback via the website, go to court.com.au, and a lawyer will call you back to assess your matter.